Hello everybody, Icicle Tech here, and today Apple has finally decided to go ahead and release the first developer betas of iOS 13.4 and iPadOS 13.4. But before we get into today's video, if you do happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Icicle Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. We are so close to 600 subscribers, only four away at the time of recording of course. And don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Let's jump right into it. So just a few hours ago, Apple released the first iOS and iPadOS 13.4 developer betas. These updates will be the last milestone updates to iOS 13 before iOS 14 meaning that we could still see iOS 13.4.1 or 13.4.2, but we will most likely never see an iOS 13.5. So what's new exactly? Well, iOS 13.4 has brought some nice new changes and even a few new features to the table. Now, to start, iOS 13.4 has brought some new refinements to the toolbar in the mail application, which is a very welcome change, especially if you're one of those people that would accidentally end up deleting mail due to the button placement introduced in iOS 13. In fact, I am even guilty of this myself. iOS 13.4 also adds new folder sharing, iCloud folder sharing, which was announced back at WWDC 19 and has finally been included in this latest version. This update also brings new Memoji stickers, car key API, which enables you to unlock and lock any compatible car, and more new keyboard shortcuts in iPad OS. Now, I've also noticed some subtle changes myself, such as the Play Later button has now been renamed Play Last in the latest version of iOS 13. On the iPhone 7, now this could be a bug and I'm not sure, and I also hope it's not, but you can now view battery and network status in the control center. That iPhones that have a home button, of course. Although it may be a bug, again, I really do hope it's not because this is pretty nice. I actually do like this a lot. Now, Animations uh, seem significantly smoother and swiping back pages and apps like settings uh, are noticeably snappier and I did notice this immediately right after I updated my iPhone 11. Just the snappiness and the smoothness of animations definitely has been increased. Now I know I say that a lot but this time it's really noticeable. Anyway, um, haptic touching on apps seems slightly faster and that, that might be me, I don't know. Um, but I have noticed on my iPhone 11 is that just uh, using haptic touch on apps, it just seems faster. Um, and also, closing apps seems to have a more of a minimize effect um, on the app. Now, you can see this a little bit on my iPhone 7 here, and the animation does seem a little bit faster too. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it does look like you can see the app zooming out back into the home screen just a little bit more than before. So I will have a full review of iOS 13.4 Beta 1 on the iPhone SE and iPhone 7, both coming later this week and early next week. If you have any questions or video requests, definitely leave a comment down below. I always see them and I will of course take anything into consideration. And that's all I got for you guys today. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, show me by giving the video a like. And of course, if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a ton and it is extremely, extremely appreciated. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in the next one.